Let's dive deeper into the key steps involved in successfully implementing SAP S4 HANA in a brownfield environment. 1. Assessment. The first step is to evaluate your current systems, processes, and requirements to determine the scope and objectives of the project. This involves a detailed analysis of your current business processes, identifying areas for improvement and optimization. It is important to involve all stakeholders and subject matter experts in this phase to ensure that the project objectives are aligned with the business goals. 2. Blueprint. Once the assessment is complete, the next step is to develop a detailed blueprint of the target architecture and process flows for the new system. This includes defining the data migration strategy and mapping of existing business processes to the SAP S4 HANA solution. It is important to ensure that the blueprint is comprehensive and includes all the required functionalities to meet the business requirements. 3. Data Migration The next step is to prepare, clean, and migrate the data from your existing systems to the new SAP S4 HANA environment. This can include data from SAPAC or other legacy systems. It is important to ensure that the data is complete, accurate, and consistent to avoid any data integrity issues. 4. Configuration. Once the data is migrated, the next step is to configure the SAP S4 HANA system to meet your business requirements and processes, including customizations and system integrations. It is important to ensure that the system configuration is aligned with the blueprint and all the required functionalities are implemented. 5. Testing. After the system configuration is complete, it is important to perform extensive testing of the system, including functional, integration, and end-to-end -end testing, to ensure that it meets your requirements and business processes. This will help in identifying any issues or gaps in the system, and ensure that the system is ready for deployment. 6. Deployment. The next step is to deploy the SAP S4 HANA system, in a phased approach, starting with a pilot or a sandbox environment, and gradually moving to the production environment. It is important to ensure that the deployment is well planned, and executed to minimize any disruption to the business operations. 7. Training. Once the system is deployed, it is important to provide training and support to end users and key stakeholders on the new system and its capabilities. This will help in ensuring that the users are comfortable with the new system and can use it effectively. 8. Go live and post go live support. The final step is to go live with the new system and provide ongoing support and maintenance to ensure its smooth operation. It is important to have a post go live support plan in place to address any issues that may arise after the system is deployed. In summary, a successful SAP S4 HANA implementation in a brownfield environment requires a well-planned and executed implementation strategy, along with a thorough understanding of your existing systems and processes. This will help in ensuring that the new system meets your business requirements and provides the required functionalities to support your business operations. We really thank you for your time spent on this session. Feel free to meet our partners by sending an inquiry email to contact us at t24global.com. Most of our partners have 15 to 20 years industry experience. So, please get in touch for any quick, managed, business process and IT consulting needs.